Most people suggest that we need a gym to have effective chest workouts. But there are some great ways to design a chest workout without any equipment. Like any other muscles, proper training of chest muscles requires regular progress of working weights in exercises. When training in the gym, this means increasing the weight of the barbell. However, you can pump your chest anywhere, wherever you are, with your own body weight and without special equipment. In this video, I'll tell you how to pump up your chest in just 5 minutes using your own body weight. So, watch the video till the end, it will be interesting. The best way to pump up pectoral muscles without equipment is through different variations of push-ups. Push-ups provide a great full-body workout that engages your arms, chest, and core. There are also certain types of push-ups that work out specific muscle groups. The presented set of six push-up options will help you pump up your pectoral muscles faster. If up to this moment, you have always done only classic push-ups, then we'll help you take your workouts to the next level. The push-up complex, which we LL talk about, will make your pectoral muscles beg for mercy. The first is a classic push-up. Come into a high plank position, place your hands under your shoulders, begin to lower your body, keeping your back straight until your chest touches the floor, and then straighten your arms, returning to the starting position. Do this exercise as a warm-up. The second is a wide hands push-up. These push-ups are performed in the same way as the classic ones, except that the hands are placed not under the shoulders but slightly wider. By spreading your arms wider, you remove part of the load from the triceps and transfer it to the pectoral muscles. If this is too easy for you, try spreading your arms as wide as you can and, keeping a slight bend in your elbows, do push-ups from that position. The wider you put your hands, the more load will be transferred to the pectoral muscles. The third is a clapping push-up. Starting position as in classic push-up. You gently go down and then sharply push yourself up, lifting your hands off the floor and clapping your hands under your chest. After the clap, land in the starting position. Jumping out of a push-up provides a huge load on the chest muscles, and this is the best way to jump start stalled progress. Before exercising, be sure to warm up and stretch your wrists. A sharp load when landing on not warmed up muscles can lead to injury. The fourth is a diamond push-up. This exercise is the exact opposite of wide hands push-up. Here you put your hands close to each other so that the fingers touch each other. During push-ups, the elbows should move close to the body. If you can't do this exercise, first try placing your hands under your shoulders and doing a classic push-up, but keep your elbows close to your body while moving. When you feel comfortable doing such push-ups, you can move on to diamond ones. During diamond push-ups, more load goes to the triceps. It is best to do them after wide hands push-ups to give a rest to the loaded pectoral muscles. The fifth is an incline push-up. Stand facing a bench, chair, or other platform. Place your hands on the edge of the bench not under your shoulders, but slightly wider, and perform standard push-ups, trying to keep your body straight. Due to the position of the body with a raised upper part, this exercise provides more load on the lower part of the pectoral muscles. If these push-ups seem too easy for you, try incline push-ups on the rings. Feet on the floor, hands on rings fixed at a distance of half a meter from the ground. During such push-ups, you make an effort not only to lift the body but also to maintain balance on unstable rings. As a result, the pectoral muscles are loaded much more strongly. The sixth is a decline push-up. Place your feet on a bench, chair, or other platform and your hands on the floor. In this position, perform regular push-ups. As in the previous exercise, due to the position of the body, the load is shifted, but this time, to the upper part of the pectoral muscles. Do 3-4 sets of 12-20 reps of each of these exercises and you can build lean muscle and get very lean with this workout. By the way, friends, be sure to watch other videos on this channel. Links are on the screen right now. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fitness videos like this.